Recording in progress. Hi, Laura. Thanks for taking time to chat with us. Uh, just your overall comments on today's meeting. Uh, I'm going to repeat myself. Not enough quality. That's it. I guess it's my turn then. Um, I wanted to ask you a little more on the positive side. Ryan got her second straight start today. Um, just wondering sort of what you saw from her in the last game that made you want to start her again and then what you saw from her today. Yeah, I thought she did well last game. I thought she did well today. I thought she had to come off. Um, I think she has trained really hard and earned this opportunity, and she's taken it and, and played really well. And unfortunately, she had to come off today with a little hamstring. So. Um, and then this is your first time coaching against one of your former players. Um, just wondering if there's anything sort of special about that. And, you know, obviously, I know the losses, the, not the loss, the ties this morning, but um, sort of a cool moment for you, maybe. Definitely before the game, yeah. Hi, thanks for taking the time. I was wondering what your thoughts are on the new ownership group like coming through and what you think that's gonna mean for the team moving forward. Yeah, I think it's really exciting. I think, you know, local owners uh, being part of a collective group um, under one but one umbrella I think is gonna be amazing for the club. Um, and I think yeah. I think it's going to be amazing. Coach, I know this is a tricky subject, but you've spoken for weeks about the lack of quality in game. Mm -hmm. Is it something you have to address in the August transfer window? Yes. Um, I guess what's um, kind of building a little bit on that, do you, though, credit at all anything that Louisville did, um, especially since they were down a player? I mean, was there anything tricky that, that they did that? Uh, cost you guys trouble. Mm, worked hard. Um, worked hard. Kept going. Um, that's about it. I think the rest of it was a story of our season, of us not showing enough quality in the moments that we need it. So then are you not seeing what what you're doing in training transfer to the, the games of either or how are the yeah, is there a yeah, a little bit. It's a little bit of that. I think it's also just understanding what you know going down to ten players for the opponent means. Um, how you have to move the ball, you have to keep moving it. I think we get into a mentality where we feel we have to score like immediately. Um, so we lose structure. We are, our structure around the ball, behind the ball, at times today wasn't good enough. Um, which gave them opportunities to get the ball up the field. And, and I think that comes from an eagerness to want to score quickly, where we, if we find the right moments, we found times to get the ball in the places that we needed to, and then we just didn't have the quality in those moments. But I felt there was times where we tried to force it down their neck. I mean, you didn't need to do that. You don't need to do that in any game. You definitely don't need to do that when their team's down the player. Could you elaborate on the upcoming transfer and know what positions you would want to see strengthened for the squad? I don't think it's necessarily about positions. I just think well, we have to be active. I think we we know that we lost a lot in quality in the off season, um, and I think we have to look at ways in which we can replace that. Um, I think that that's a big key for us. But it's not just about uh, replacing um, and bringing in new players. I think we just have to look at where we're at, what we need, what we need now, what we need for the future, um, and how we can continue to build a, a roster moving forward that can that can compete. Because I think we show most weeks that we can compete. We just need to have a little bit more quality. A little more on the positive side. Today's attendance was the third largest for the rain standalone in the regular season. What was it? Uh, 10,750. Great. Uh, what would be your message to the supporters to get them to get the numbers more up there to finish out the rest of the season now that we're a little more than halfway? Yeah, I think, you know, the message we've been sending for 12 years is come out. Um, the product, I feel, is, is a good product that we put on the field, whether both teams, honestly. Um, and your support means everything. So I think the backing of, of the fans is always important for the team. 
Um, from your perspective, what happened on that last, uh, or on their scoring play? We didn't have our structure set up properly. We were 2v2 on one side of the field. We'd actually worked on it two days ago on if if they have two players there, making sure that we have an overload, and we didn't do that. So we didn't win the first ball, and then we didn't win the second ball. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Laura. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. Thank you.